Greetings viewers and welcome to today's info sharing snippet where we'll be covering the delivery management module within SageTron Devolution. Now, as the name implies, delivery management allows you to manage the delivery of goods to customers in a streamlined, efficient manner. Let's see exactly how this process unfolds. Under delivery management, we have our defaults. And at this point, we are able to specify our delivery note numbering sequence. So you can choose to select to use automatic numbering, specify a prefix for delivery notes, as well as a number of characters to be used in your numbering sequence. You can then move on to our delivery methods, and these are methods that you're going to be using to deliver goods to your customers. So add a method, and it's a case of specifying details about the method and an effective date. So I'm going to specify a couple of methods and also an effective date for the delivery method. Right, so I've got my three methods here, and we're then going to process some transactions and link those transactions, being the invoices, to our delivery methods. So under transactions, I'm going to go to an invoices and specify my customer. And what you notice is we have a delivery note or delivery tab on our invoice. And yeah, I can specify delivery date as well as a delivery method. And I'm then just going to go specify the item on the invoice or to be sold. Right. There we go. I'm going to do a second invoice for the same customer. And then a third invoice, in this case, for a different customer. Same delivery method. So I process three invoices for two separate customers. I'm now going to go back to my delivery management and we're then going to go to transactions, delivery transactions. And what you'll notice is that the delivery management module is really based on three platforms. Firstly, confirm delivery, cancel a delivery note, or cancel delivery. Let's just start with the confirm delivery. And what you see there is that we can specify a filter range, for example, on our invoice date, delivery date, etc. Um, things like we can filter on customers, delivery methods, inventory items, etc. And very importantly, two methods here being per invoice or all under one. But let us go to or use the per invoice option first. And if I say find, it's going to give me details of all the invoices that are due for delivery. And this particular point, I would just need to confirm the delivery quantity. So I'm going to confirm the delivery quantity. And what you see is that we have a process quantity, which is the process or the quantity from the document or the source document. And there may be instances where the confirmed delivery quantity and the process quantity are different. Um, a perfect example could be is that maybe if you're only delivering a portion of it, it's the customer at a specific point in time. Um, if the items to be delivered are either serialized items or lot numbered items, at this point you are able to specify the serial number or the lot number of the particular item to be delivered. 
Right, so we're going to be got our details there. We've confirmed our quantities and we're going to be using the per invoice option and confirm delivery. At this point, I can print the delivery note. Right, so put my delivery note together with my invoice number and my delivery note number. There's my customer information and delivery note number two, same customer with my relevant documentation number and the item that's going to be delivered. And then we then have my third delivery note. So what you notice here is that because we've been using, we are using the per invoice option, we specify, we're going to be using a delivery note per invoice, even though we do have the deliveries for the same customer. So invoice number, delivery note, customer information, and then our second delivery note is for the same customer, however, separate delivery note. Right, so the process has now been completed and the goods are delivered to our customer. Let us go do another range of invoices and I'm going to go back to inventory invoices. And at this point, I'm going to be going through to customer, delivery, my delivery method. Right, process. The same customer. And now a different customer. Right, so I've got my delivery method specified once again. Right, so process the transactions and now we're going to arrange for delivery of those items to the customers. Okay, delivery transactions. And in this instance, I'm going to be using the all under one feature. I specified my date criteria there and find. Right, so there we have our three invoices and I'll confirm the quantities and confirm delivery. So in this instance, you'll see that We've got one delivery note number for the customer, and we've been able to combine two invoices for the customer on one delivery note. And we then have the second delivery note with the invoice information for the particular customer. So there we have the difference between using the per invoice or all in one option. So I'll close that, print the delivery notes, and the goods will then be delivered. So just to recap is that per invoice simply means is that you've got one delivery note per customer, per invoice or per document. All under one means is that you can combine in multiple invoices for the same customer on one delivery note. Right, so let's just go on or move on now to our inquiries. And let's just go to our inquiries and we can, we've got delivery inquiries whereby we can view details about deliveries based on certain statuses. So either unprocessed, all, partially delivered, canceled, delivered, et cetera. And we can view that information for a certain date range or a certain delivery date range, et cetera. And also customer delivery method or inventory item. So I've got my details there. And if I say find, Going to give me details about all the transactions, the customer, the invoice number, the items which were delivered, delivery note details, the method of delivery, process quantity, delivered quantity, etc., and details about the delivery in itself. So I've got all my details there, 
then I can simply inquire on all deliveries for a certain date range or a certain customer, et cetera. If we then move on to our reports, we can view delivery notes under reports. And at this point, I can specify details about the delivery note date, et cetera, and also the delivery note number. So if I click on the view option, it's going to give me details about the delivery notes, the customer, the invoice, the delivery note number, the delivery note date, as well as the method of delivery. And if I select one of those delivery notes, click on reprint, and at this point, I can print the document or I can simply preview it. So there's details about my delivery, and we've got the details. In this particular instance, it was a one that we processed using the all or, or the combination of using one delivery note together with multiple invoices. Right, so a very quick and easy way for you to reprint delivery notes. We then have the summary report, and that allows me to view reports for outstanding deliveries partial deliveries or completed deliveries. So let's go to completed deliveries. And once again, I've got my certain filter criteria there and I'll say find, and I've got my details there. In this sense, it's gonna give me all the information together with process quantity, delivered quantity, and if there happened to be a pending quantity on any delivery notes, et cetera. So I can view the summary report and pick up those details from there. Right, if we then go back to our transactions, we can then look at the cancel delivery note. So in this instance, I'm gonna to go to cancel delivery note and I can view either completed deliveries or partial deliveries. So if you're going to completed deliveries, specify my information there, my date ranges, et cetera. And I can simply say view. This is going to give me details about the deliveries. So I've got my delivery notes, et cetera, um, the process quantity, delivered quantity, et cetera, and all the relevant information. At this particular point, I can simply go specify which delivery notes I want to cancel, ticking those relevant options, and I can simply say cancel delivery notes. So I've canceled delivery note four and five, and I'm going to go cancel those notes and continue. Right. So if I now go and revert back to my delivery transactions and I go to confirm or just go find those informations, what you'll see there is that the delivery notes which were cancelled have now reverted to a state of undelivered and I can begin with the delivery process again. So once again, I can say, for example, there we go, confirm the delivery. Okay. And I can continue the process. So really a case of if a delivery note has been canceled, it then moves to a state of undelivered, and then the process of confirming the of delivery can then continue. So I can say confirm. Yes, and I can then deliver them at a later stage etc. if need be with my details. Right, so let's just go look at the cancel delivery option. So I'm going to go back to my inventory transactions, invoice, and let's just go through to one of our customers. And I'll be using the delivery method there. And let's just go and specify the items. But so process the transaction. Right, so now we're going to go look at the cancel delivery feature. And 
it just go. Right, so it's going to give me details about the two items that were on the invoice for this particular customer. I'm now going to go to cancel delivery and just go find the customer and view. So this particular point, I've got my details there. There's the invoice number, there's the goods. And at this particular point, I'm going to go cancel the delivery. So there's my details and cancel. Right. So now if I revert back to my delivery transactions and let's just go find the customer that we canceled the reform. And if I say find, we see that there are no records available. Simply in this particular instance, by canceling delivery, we've canceled the whole process as if the delivery is not going to take place. So just to, to reiterate the difference between a canceled delivery note is the goods have been delivered and you then cancel the delivery note, those goods then go back into a process or a status of undelivered, and then we can confirm the delivery process from scratch. Cancel delivery means is that delivery isn't going to take place, and therefore those goods won't be able, won't be available to confirm the delivery. So as you can see, delivery management allows you to maintain control over the delivery of your goods, and you should deliver in a very sort of streamlined, cost-effective way. I do hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching. It's over and out for me and goodbye.